the adorable Nimbe Super Cute Super Fly Fly. You know the drill. Well, we finished our first trial. It was successful. Got an A. That's pretty good. Not going to lie. Um, We're down a couple of people, <laughs> obviously. Uh, Sayaka is gone. So is Junko. So is Leon. <laughs> anyway, um... Yay, I guess it's night time. Am I, is this my room? Am I back in my room or did I swap rooms? Because like, I don't know if I could like actually continue sleeping in my old room considering, you know, what happened. So have I just swapped rooms permanently now and now just stay in Sayaka's room? Cause like, did they clean up the bathroom? Or is this like my room and they cleaned it up so it's not you know, covered in strawberry jam. It's gone. Okay, this must be my 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 room. They must have cleaned it up during the trial or something. She she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like you said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiley faces is thanks enough for me. <laughs> After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. How nice. <laughs> How lovely! Oh, brilliant! That's very, very kind of you. <laughs> I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Jinko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Uh, was I supposed to look around at other things? I wasn't paying too much attention. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Oh yeah, am I okay from everyone basically accusing me of killing Sayaka and like about to like end all of us because you would have been wrong? So then I'm just saying like, I'm fine though. Nah, don't even worry about it. I'm cool. I'm fine. Nah, 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 don't worry about it. Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me. You sure took your sweet time? I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Yeah, because look, that's great. No, don't give me any time to just deal with being almost accused of doing something I didn't do, as well as losing someone that I thought cared about me, but turned out they didn't. They were just manipulating me. Nah, nah don't give me any time at all. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Mm. So what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it was... Jesus Christ. I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bar. I swear to God. Give me five minutes. All right. Hey, come on. Yeah, see? Even the guy, even, even the biker, ultimate biker gang leader is like, dude, what the, sh what the hell? Like, that's a bit messed up. Like, you know something's wrong if he's like, he's, he's being weird about it. I'm just saying. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, it smells like her. It just bring back memories. Staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. It'd be a little less freaky, though, because at least she didn't die in there. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Oh, Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Totally, this is weird. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, really? Really? Three people are dead. I can't even be mad at him. He's not wrong. I'd like to be mad at him, but he's not wrong. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. 
Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. It's true, she did. She totally did. We can't wow. say she didn't, because she was the first one to try. But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have a reason to do anything like that? Stop talking. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... Now what do you mean? Are you okay with this? <laughs> the Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of our everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then, what are we supposed to do? Hm. Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. Hm. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. Oh, Chihiro. She's so cute. What? <laughs> no, wh what do you mean, no? What? <laughs> I, I can't take it. I, I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. Want to kill anyone else? Huh? Anyone else? <laughs> what do you mean? It's because Leon died because all, we all voted for him, right? Well, he did kill Sayaka, so if we didn't vote for him, then we'd all be dead, I guess. Kinda. I mean, it's very. It's uh. Oh uh, well, it's very complex. It's it's very complicated. It's very nuanced. It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? Yeah, see? Like, if we didn't vote for him, then we would have been wrong, and then we'd all be dead. So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Uh, Chihiro, listen, you're not to blame, not you, or not all well, Sayaka, we should maybe blame her a little bit, she started it. But yeah, the mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote, I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon, so don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead direct it at the mastermind. A ding dong, bing bong, time for a bed. Yay? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. Oh, this is slightly new. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. <laughs> well, yeah. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Don't see you? Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Like, I can't even... Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's hard to not like the bear. Is it, am I just insane? I just, I don't hate the bear. Anyway, what was that about just now? <sighs> was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> that piece of shit. Who does he think he is? I mean, I don't know. It's very nuanced. And so the day to a close, a tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Well, who's going to do the next stupid thing? 
Boy's Life of Despair? This is probably fine. What could possibly go wrong? I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement, then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. I, why, I mean, why is he like the bear, whatever. Why is Tucker following him though? I mean, why? After everything, everyone else is like, uh, whatever. But why are you doing? Why? It's, it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. Why are you like this, Tucker? One, two, three, four. Dear God. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Okay. <sighs> okay. I, I just, why is he like this? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't that feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. <laughs> yeah Wow, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <sighs> just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Just get to the point, did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? <laughs> okay, so then... Hmm. Um, I'd like to make an announcement. Yes, I'd like to make an announcement. That, that's totally what I need to do. Every time you come overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open to you. What the heck? whole new world. A whole new world. <laughs> you guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever without nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So, go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But, a new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. <sighs> that seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey! Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Hmm. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. <laughs> Fuck me. Seeing his words as a signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Dear God. I can't. I don't. Notice? There's nothing to observe here? Really? Really? Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll leave it the area. Whatever. Hey, so I guess they got rid of the sword, right? Yeah, the sword's like gone. It's not even in my room anymore. 
Inside the display case are trophies of other teams, winning championships, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing here? What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything at that weird... What? Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful, a bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious? That stuff you see lined up there, any god could come by and use it to send a message. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! Why? What's going on in there that I didn't notice? I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. It's... It's probably fine. I... I... It's, I, I... I went into the wrong area. <laughs> I... Dear God, I went back into the gym. It's fine. I... I don't... I mean... What, they're trophies? There's some statues? I don't know. I'm not the psychic here. Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, hey, what's open? Hey, what's up? Got it! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened up, me? but it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. I, I just, I, I, I don't know, oh, I don't know, I don't know why he's like this. Wait, this is the first floor, first gym, first floor, first, wait, first, wait, okay, what about, what about the dormitories, is anyone in there? Is anybody in the dormitories? Like seriously. I should look around the school. Oh. But I want to go in and play gutch. Oh, fine. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but <laughs> just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he made things that easy for hey, us. Hey, damn it. <laughs> Hey. What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. <laughs> he does look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in here? Well, do you? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Yo. Well, okay. I'm going to go look for another way out then. Yeah, you do that. I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to go upstairs, I think. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm going to go upstairs because why not? Why not? Why not? All right, let's go. Oh, right, I can't actually walk upstairs. Oh, the gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Well, let's go up and check. Oh, it's blue. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Oh, more bathrooms. A pool? Oh, my God, there's a pool? This place has a pool? Oh, a library? Oh shit, this place is cool. This this place is cool, is what this place is. But obviously bathrooms. Have to have like 20 more bathrooms. This is the girls' bathroom. If I ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes and that'd be it for sure. <laughs> what about the boys? Are there more coins? More fish? Oh, there's no fish in here. Why is there no fish? This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. There isn't even a coin. Really? Fine, whatever. Leave the area? Yes, yes, I do want to leave the area. There's no coins here, therefore my purpose here has nullified. Let's check out the pool. That's so cool, there's a pool here. That's really cool. Can Oh, there's also a Gatling gun. Just a second. Okay. Ah, oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what we found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool, a pool, pool, pool! Because she's a swimmer. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. 
Hina seems way more excited than usual. Well, because she's a swimmer. So the fact that there's a pool, it gives her something to do. She can swim. That's what she does. And like, if there's exercise equipment, then people can work out, which is something. You know, life's gotten a little bit more interesting for everyone here. Who's stuck. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of stuff. What's with this? Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that in a pool? Jesus. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. Oh, I found a coin. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Um, all right. Hey, Celeste. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown and a number of facilities are now available. And there's a library so you can go and read. I mean, to be fair, this place is pretty cool. I mean, food for all days, your own room, you can exercise. There's a library to read books. Like there's a gym. I mean, this place, I'm just saying it's pretty cool. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm with Celeste on this. I'm just saying, like, this place is getting cool. <laughs> mm. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um, no. I, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But, but still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah, but I'm not even brave enough to step foot in the locker rooms. You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um, it's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Okay, Chihiro. Behind this door is the locker room. <laughs> this is the girls' locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? You are correct. I will go into the boys' locker room. Behind this door is the boys' locker room. Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Do you? Really? Oh, fuck. Of course! Really? Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, Jesus, where'd he come from? Hmm. If you want to unlock her, the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room. And the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... Hmm. But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. <laughs> oh. Well, look, Monokuma might be crazy insane, but he respects the locker room rules. Like, if anyone wants to be a creep and go into the opposite locker room like he's gonna do something about it like I, I mean that's not bad that's that's pretty okay see there's a gambling gun mounted on the ceiling right Yahoo! and it'll be all tucka, 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 tucka. just a second i bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing you're right um um no i think it'd be a little worse than that Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ha! What? That never even occurred to me. <laughs> to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got it! For a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e handbook to any other student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their notebook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, 
um, but you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! <laughs> it's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age, you try humping a plastic bottle. Not that I would know. <laughs> so to keep anything unseemingly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes, I yes. don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Well, I mean, that's fair. Basically saying you can't go into the opposite sex's locker rooms or bathrooms because that's ridiculously indecent and y'all should respect each other's spaces. But if you want to screw around in your own bedrooms, like that's another thing, by all means. If y'all want to have little relationships, that's fine. I don't care. Just don't disrupt the locker rooms. You know what? I can respect that. Just the worst. <laughs> I hate you so much. See ya later. <laughs> okay. So the new regulation is now in place. <laughs> See ya. Oh. oh man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll pass this time. Huh? Uh, how come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. <laughs> Can I go in here now? <laughs> what fun! Oh, hey, it's a what's that on the wall? <laughs> I was like, oh, cool, a gym, and then I saw this. Can I acknowledge this? What is this? Now, this is an interesting poster. Obviously, someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? I don't know. Is it? I'm just gonna check out the pool. But, um, oh, it's cool. What a cool pool. Wow, this is nice. Oh, why can I only look over here? What's over here? Oh, I can get closer. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna find a body floating in the pool, like as if we're not. As if we're not. Lockers. Well, I would expect to see that at any normal pool. A coin! Brilliant. Truly brilliant. I think that was the only thing I could look at here, so. Time to leave. Well, this has been fun. You know, new areas and stuff. Exercise places, lockers, a pool. A Gatling gun. Brilliant. <laughs> Yay! Totally great. All right. Well, that was the pool area. What else do we have? A few more classrooms, I think. Oh, there's nothing down this hallway. It's just a dead end hallway. Oh, level three. Get out of my way. Level three. I want to go upstairs. The gate's blocking my way. So there's still another floor, which means not everything has opened up yet. Even so, this floor itself is cool. Oh, hey, what's this? Um, Just a classroom. What's in here? I want to check. Oh, it's got butterflies. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Hey, Sakura. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. Is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say, Sakura? Yes. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I really don't like that. A coin! 79 coins. <laughs> um, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor too, the windows here have those same metal plates covering them. I got the coin! <laughs> um, <clears throat> nothing. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. All right, let's leave. Time to leave the room. There's nothing in here but Sakura. All right, so for now, I think that'll do. And next time, there's a library. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to check out the library. Anyway, uh, time to save me thinks. I will save where? 
That is an excellent question. Where am I going to save? I'll save here. All right, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.